Hey guys, what's up? In this video, we are going to discuss set builder notation. Actually, it is a type of describing a set. In the previous videos, we have seen uh, how to describe a set in descriptive form. We can say, or we can say in words. We have we have described the set in words. It is called descriptive form. Now here. We will see here we will describe a set using set builder notation as you can see here in the first two parts of it here we have described the set in descriptive form we can say in words so what is a set builder notation let's see okay let's see here we have a set a okay let's say set a in this uh, let's say the elements uh, bx okay uh, we can say here uh, we are actually describing the elements uh, that what type of elements are present in this set a okay? let's say here the element is x okay let's say the elements we can say all the elements are x okay let's say all the elements are x because here we can say it is a type of elements let's say here we have uh, uh, whole numbers or we can say natural numbers or uh, let's say multiples of 5 multiples of 7 let's say multiples of 10 so we can say they are all one type okay they are all of one type so here I have written here X because all of them are of same type all the elements are of same type so here I can write X okay it is describing actually the type we can say okay okay so we can say the elements are x okay these two uh, dots are for the description we can say here we will describe that what type of x is what type of elements are here here let's say the elements are x okay such that here x we can say such that the elements uh, let's say here we are uh, we are writing the multiples of 2 we can say here we have a set in which we have multiples of 2 okay so here I can say uh, we have a set a and in this the elements are x and let's say the elements are x or we can say here the elements are in such a way that here elements is a okay element or are a multiple okay or we can say a single element or we can say all the elements present in that set okay here these are the multiples of two okay so we have described the set in set builder notation let me repeat again here we have a set a and here if you want to write uh, the multiples of 2 in that set if I want to uh, show it in the builder notation here we will describe the x x is the element of it these uh, we can say it is a type of element because multiples of 2 are actually uh, we can say these are of same type so here x is the element of to such that here okay x is the element of that set a such that x is a multiple of 2 it means that if I want to write in tabular form means if I want to list the numbers in it list the members here so here multiples of 2 includes 2 4 6 8 10 okay and so on it will never stop so this is the tabular form this is the builder notation form clear set builder notation this is uh, the descriptive form in set will denotation x such so that x is a multiple of 2 clear or we have let's say here we have in numbers let me remove it first here in this we have numbers from 1 to 5 okay let's say 1 2 <clears throat> 3 4 and 5 now we have to describe uh, this set okay now what we can write here okay we have a set a and in this the elements are, are set to be x okay x okay what type of x is what type of elements are here okay elements is x okay element is x here so the set a includes x means the element and here x we can say belongs to okay 
belongs to natural numbers. Okay, because you can see natural numbers are those which are starting from one and so on. Okay, from one and so on, it will never stop. It is an infinite set. But you can see here uh, we have elements from one to five. Okay, so I can say that here x. Uh, okay, such that x belongs to uh, natural numbers, or we can say that x uh, is a natural number. Okay, it is a uh, more good to say that here x is a x is a natural number okay and here x is greater than 0 but less than 6 first of all here you can see x is is a natural number okay x belongs to natural numbers these are all natural numbers so here is a set of natural numbers but actually natural numbers here in this set the natural numbers includes here one to five means x is the element here so x we can say the element elements of this set okay must be greater than zero means it can be one it can be two it can be three okay but it should be greater than zero it means zero is not included in this set so the first element will be one here got it and it should be less than six not equal to six okay it should be less than six means five is the last element of this set so here i can say one two three four five here we have described this set in set builder notation it is a form of description okay here a set a and in this we have element x and x belongs to natural numbers or we can say x is a natural number such that here x is greater than 0 but less than 6 okay this is the set builder notation got it okay so now let's see some questions if you got the set builder notation okay so describe the set using set builder notation here the first part is set of cube numbers less than 126 okay how i can describe it in set builder notation i can say we have a set a and in this the elements are x such that here element x okay is a cube number okay element x is a cube number because it is said that a set of cube numbers okay element x is a cube number okay but here x should be less than 126 it is said that less than 126 clear it means that here the last one will be 125 which is also a cube of 5 okay here we have a set a and in this uh, we have element x such that the element is a cube number we can say x is a cube number and here the element should be less than 126 if I want to write in tabular form so 1 okay 1 is a cube of 1 8 is a cube of 2 okay uh, then we have 27 which is a cube of 3 then we have 64 a cube of 4 then we have 125 a cube of 5 so this is the tabular form of this set builder notation you can see here we have a set a and in this we have <coughs> elements <coughs> elements are uh, cube numbers okay elements are cubic numbers such that the elements should be less than 126 you can see here it is less than 126 okay La last number is 125 which is less than 126 so here we have described the first part here in the set builder notation got it i hope it's easy it's not so difficult okay here will be clear if i do further more parts so let's see the part b here we have to write the set of integers greater than zero okay let's say here we have a set a you can also change the name of set let's say here we have a set capital x Okay, here we have a set capital X and in the set capital X we have element small x or we can also change here we can say y we have 
an element y such that the element is a integer okay i can say here element or we can say y is an integer okay we have a set a and in this the elements are y such that the elements okay are integers and also they are greater than zero okay i can say y should be greater than zero okay elements are greater than zero okay i can also write it as this okay why because greater than zero means the number we can say the element is equal to one or greater the elements greater than zero means the first number will be one here because greater than zero means zero is not included in it so i can also write here uh, the element should be equal to one or greater than one but here it is written only greater than zero so it is uh, more accurate to write that here the element is greater than zero okay you are getting my point so we have a set x and in this we have elements y such that y are integers we can say elements are integers and here uh, the elements should be greater than zero and if i want to write in a tabular form so it will be equal to one two three four and so on here <laughs> elements are greater than y and they are uh, integers also got it okay now let's move towards the next part here we have to write this one here we have uh, counting from 1 to 15 you can see 1 2 3 4 up to 15 so let's say here we have a set a and in this the elements are x okay elements are x such that here element or we can say x is a natural number you can see these are actually starting from 1 to 25 I can say X are the elements and elements are actually natural numbers but here the elements should be uh, we can say less than or equal to 15 okay we can say the elements should be less than 15 or equal to 15 here and here because our first natural number is 1 which is also our first uh, element of this set <clears throat> so it is not necessary that here the element should be greater than 0 or I can say the element should be greater than 1 or equal to 1 so it is not necessary here clear so we have written this in set building notation and we have another technique to write these set building notation okay in this question we can also say that here we have a set a and in this the elements are x such that okay such that here x is less than equal to 15 and greater than equal to 1 okay we don't have to write this thing that x is a natural number we don't have to write this thing we can just write here we have a set a and in this elements are x such that x is greater than or equal to 1 you can see the elements are greater than 1 or equal to 1 and here the elements should be less than 15 or equal to 15 clear so we can also write uh, this one as a set builder notation got it <clears throat> all right here we have this thing in the part d here we have 1 2 11 and 22 all right let's say here we have a set a and in this the elements let's say these are x okay the elements are x okay here we have to describe what types of elements are these okay 1 2 okay uh, 11 uh, 22 so actually if you look closer to it actually these are the factors of 22 you can see 1 is a factor 2 is a factor 11 is a factor and 22 is also a factor these four uh, numbers these four terms are uh, factors of um, 22 okay these are total factors of 22 so I can say X is an element such that here the element is a factor of 22 okay so we have described this set okay this one this part okay got it x said that x is a factor of 22 you got it 
Now let's move towards our next part. Here we have this thing. Here instead of numbers, here we have alphabets, letters. Okay, here we have letters. D U S T E R. Okay, actually it is a duster, but here actually we can say D is an element of this set. Similarly, U is an element. Similarly, S T E R. These all are separated elements of this set now how we can describe it i can say that here we have a, a set a and in this the elements are x such that here x is a letter x is a letter of uh, we can say dust term okay x are the elements such that X are the letters of this uh, duster okay of this word duster you can see D U S T E R these X are the letters of this word duster so we have described this set in set builder notation okay I hope you're getting all my points because it's not a, a hard concept it's not a tough concept it's easy you can see X so that X are the letters or it's X is a letter of duster clear okay now let's move towards our next question here it is said that we have to list all the members of this set here we have described the sets in the set implementation we have to write the members of it okay so first of all here in the part a it is said that here we have a set and the element is x such that here x is a multiple of four but here the elements okay should be greater than or equal to 16 but less than uh, 61 so first of all here let's say uh, let's write the elements of 4 first because here the elements are a multiple of 4 let me write here 4 8 12 16 20 24 28 32 36 40, 44, 48, 52, 56, 60, and here we have 64. Okay, so it's enough. Okay, so here I have done uh, many multiples of 4. So these are actually the uh, multiples of 4, and here's a sum of and uh, we can say some of the multiples are included in this set so let me read again that here we have a set let's say here we have a set a let's say in this the elements are x such that here the elements are a multiple of 4 or okay you can see here the elements these are the multiples of 4 here one more condition is given to us that here the element should be equal or greater than to, uh, 36 it means 36 here so here, here the element should be greater than 36 means here these are and also equal to 36 greater than 36 or equal to 36 it means that here 36 is included in this set because here it is said that element should be greater than 36 or equal to 36 means 36 is also included in this set and here the last limit is also given to us it is said that here the element should be less than 61 less than 61 means 61 is not included in this okay 61 is not included in this means the last number should be 60 if it is a multiple okay the last uh, uh, the last element of the set should be 60 if it is a multiple so here you can see 60 is a multiple okay so here the last element is 60 because it is said that element should be less than 61 so here this 36 40 44 48 52 56 and 60 these are the elements these are the members of this set a which is described in this builder notation got that clear okay now let's discuss our next part here it is said that here we have a set a let's say any set and in this the elements are x such that the element is a regular polygon regular polygons means uh, a figure okay it can be any figure which is described here 
okay a figure which have all sides same let's say here if we have a triangle so here if all the sides are same let's say here we have a uh, let's say here we have five centimeter here we have five centimeter here we have also five centimeters so you can see all the sides are same so it is a regular polygon similarly here we have a square we, we know that here the sides of a square are all equal so it is also a, a regular polygon so mm -hmm. regular polygon means the shapes which have same sides so here we have to actually we have to write the names of the shapes okay x is a element such that the element is a regular polygon means that here we have to write the names of regular polygon and here the element has no more size than five <clears throat> okay it means that here uh, we have uh, we can say we have regular polygons first of all we know that here we have a circle okay it uh, we can say it is an okay it can be a polygon or not but here we can say it has no sides here so I will exclude it so here we can say a side uh, we can say a figure which have equal sides is triangle you can say it is the smallest uh, sided figure okay if we have two sided figure so we can't get a closed shape which is called a polygon clear so the smallest polygon is a triangle because it has only three sides now we have this square clear it is also a polygon and it is also a regular polygon because here all the sides are same okay now it has four sides it is said that here the element should have no more sides than five it means that five sided figure is included in this but more than five sided figure is not included in this clear no more size than five means here five sided figure is included in this but more than it is not included in it so here actually we have three shapes first of all we have an equilateral triangle equilateral triangle why i have written here equilateral triangle because here we have to set that here uh, all the sides are same of the triangle and this is the, actually the equilateral triangle so that's why I have written here equilateral triangle now I can say here we have a square clear here we have a square which have all sides same and here we have a regular pentagon regular pentagon clear and uh, here we can't write a rectangle because the sides are not same actually here we have to write only equilateral triangle because here uh, we have some of the types of triangle and the only type that has same uh, same size is the equilateral triangle and why i have done here a, a regular pentagon pentagon means a, a shape which have five sides a regular means here all the sides are same here so that's why i have written here regular pentagon Got it so here we have written all the members okay these are the members okay these are actually closed in curly brackets okay and they're separated by commas so here we have uh, written in tabular form actually it is called the tabular form here I written the set in the tabular form such that the elements okay is a regular polygon means here all the sides are same and here the elements it should have no more side than five here so this is the result this is the tabular form of this builder notation clear now let's see some more questions related to this topic all right here we have to describe the sets in words means here we have uh, this one set builder notation and we have to convert this set builder notation into descriptive form means here we have to describe this in words so you can see here we have a set a and in this uh, we can say here we have two uh, elements we can say one type is x and the second type is y and here uh, we have a description of it we can say here the set x and y sorry here the elements x and y such that here element y it is equal to five time elements element x plus 12 okay you're getting my point 
that here element uh, a set a has two types of elements we can say x and y such that here <coughs> uh, element y is equal to 5 times x plus uh, 12 here clear we can say here uh, if we want to describe in we can say in words so here i can describe it that here uh, here this one we can say set of ordered pairs okay ordered pairs of a straight line okay actually uh, here we have an equation we can see why it is equal to 5x plus 12 actually here this equation is an equation of a straight line we can say we, we have a general equation y is equal to mx plus c this is a this is an general equation of a straight line clear <laughs> this is not our topic a straight line but here i am just telling you that here this is the equation of a straight line okay y is equal to mx plus c and here we can say here we have the ordered pairs here value of m is given to us and value of x is given to us and here we have only element x and element y just here okay so here we can say it is a set of ordered pairs actually i can say that here we have x okay and y these are the ordered pairs of uh, we can say of a straight line we can say of a point we can say it means that here uh, if we put the value of x here if we put any value of x here we will get the corresponding value of y this is called the ordered pair okay this is the ordered pair uh, here actually we will put the value x here and according to it we will get a value y and then we will plot a straight line with the help of this equation so this is an equation of a straight line and here we can say uh, uh, x and y okay x and y are the uh, ordered pairs of a straight line and the straight line equation is this one clear so it is a set of ordered pairs of a straight line and the equation of the straight line is this one clear so that's how we can describe this one okay clear so because this is a not our topic so i'm not going in detail okay now in our second part here it is said that we have a set x such that the elements are y and here y raised to power 5 is negative okay y raised to power 5 is negative if i want to describe this one in words here what i can say here it is said that uh, we have a set x and here in a set x we have element y such that uh, we have a power of 5 on y we can say here the elements uh, are a power of 5 and here the power of 5 is negative means that here the elements have a negative have a power of 5 and after taking the power of 5 they are negative so if i want to describe this head here i can say that here we have a set of uh, negative we have actually a set of negative numbers okay we have a set of negative numbers uh, which has a power of 5 okay a set, set of negative numbers uh, we can say which have a power of 5 or we can say a set of uh, negative uh, we can say numbers with power of 5 clear so we have described this set in this way here in words set of negative numbers because actually the numbers are negative okay and here uh, the numbers are negative actually okay these are is uh, we have a power of five on them clear got it okay
So we have uh, written in descriptive form. We can say we have described this in words. Now in the next question here it is said that here we have a universal set and in this we have element x such that x is equal or uh, greater than 1 means x is the element here which is equal to 1 okay or greater than 1 it means that here these are the elements of it you can see here here the universal set is a set okay in which the element is greater or equal to 1 you can see elements are greater than 1 or equal to 1 but elements are less than 10 or equal to 10 so here we have a universal set then we have a set A here we have element Y such that Y is a multiple of 2 okay here it means set 2 4 6 8 these are the multiples of 2. We have only 2 multiples in uh, 4 multiples. We have only 4 multiples in this set because here actually uh, we can say set A is a subset or we can say is a proper set of this universal set. Main set, this is our main set and here we just have to write those numbers, those terms which are present in the universal set. We can't ex exceed that limit. We can't write here, um, okay, 10 is also present here, because 10 is also here, so I will write 10 here. So 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, these are 5 uh, multiples of 2, and why I'm not writing here 12, because here uh, 12 is not present in universal set. I have said that universal set is the biggest set, actually it is the limit we can say okay we can't choose any other number except this set if we are doing in a, if we are doing a solution or a problem or if we have a universal set so first of all we have to look that universal set to solve the problem similarly we have a set b and here in a set b here we have element z such that it is a multiple of 3 it means that here 3 6 9 these are the multiples of 3 that lie in this universal set got it okay clear and now we have a set C and in this we have element A such that element is greater than 3 it means that 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 similarly we will not exceed the limit we will use this one as a reference we can say we will take this universal set and from this universal set I will make a set A sorry I will make a set C in which element is A such that the element is greater than 3 you can see 4 is greater than 3 and so on up to this limit okay up to 10 okay now we have to find A union B okay A union B A union B means actually we have to write all the elements of a and b here combined i can write here 2 4 6 8 10 we have a union it with b 3 6 9 here actually we have to combine this and if we have uh, some numbers repeating here we can say if it is present here and here both in these so i will write them once Okay, first of all, I can write here 2, 3 is present here, 4 is present here, 5 is not present, okay, 6 is present here and here in both, so I'll write it once, okay, 8 is present here and 9 is present here and also 10 is present here, so actually I have combined this one, actually I have told you, I have taught you uh, union and intersection in the previous video, so you can get and watch it, here, uh, it is again in set builder form so I have again described it I have again solved it okay union means to combine it so here I have combined the set A and B I have taken the union of set A and B clear so I hope you got all my points here so that is for this video set builder notation Access the entire Mathematics Demystified course at learneasy.us.